Dr. Overby, you made it. Yes. Well, as I said, I've only got five minutes. Sure, sure. Okay, you're a busy guy, and I have a tendency to ramble, which is why I've prepared this statement. <clears throat> Dr. Overby, the following is a list of reasons why I should have gotten into Brown. Wait a minute. You didn't get in? No, I didn't, but I, only because I'm sure there was some sort of clerical error or maybe a human error, maybe the computer froze. Mr. Cohen, I was under the impression you were an admitted student. That's why I came to meet you. I know, but will you please just listen to me, and if you still don't want to let me in, at least I'll know I tried. Okay. You have one minute. <clears throat> then I'm going to have to sort of uh, condense this, maybe make it more of a bullet point thing. Um, mm -hmm, grades, 3.8. Uh, SATs, 2250, that's not perfect, but I would say it's respectable. I was president of the comic book club. I was also a member of the chess team, although it's extremely low profile about it. 30 seconds. Oh, okay. Now, here's part about how I belong on the East Coast, and <laughs> it's a little joke about the weather here just to keep it light. It's pretty funny. And, uh, I guess that's about it. That was compelling. But... You misled me, and you wasted my time. So now I trust you'll show yourself off campus. Dr. Overby, I have to get in here, okay? And it's not just because I love it, although I do, I truly, I do. It's because of a girl, her name's Summer Roberts, and she's going here. And if I don't get in, I'm gonna lose her, and the rest of my life is gonna be ruined. So this is about a girl? Yes, it's about the girl. Do you get it? I do. But we make commitments when we send out those letters, and for better or for worse, we stick to them. Please. I wish I could help you, but you're going to have to do this yourself. Good luck. Anything until I talk to Teresa, I'm just, just going to have to wait. Yeah, well, not to worry. I'm on the next flight home. I'm just waiting on my cab. Seth, you don't have to come home early on my account. Oh, there are a lot of reasons, trust me. See you when I get home. Get in. Hey. Hey. Are you giving me a ride to the airport? Eventually. My plane leaves like an hour or so. Well, that is just enough time to make a quick stop at MSD. In the Rhode Island School of Design? Uh-huh. You're gonna apply, and this is your application. Where'd you get this? I, uh, I had my mom FedEx it. You know, just in case the iron has failed and Dr. Overby didn't go for the quick quips and pop culture laden bromides. And I have an in there. My cousin. Anna. Hmm. If you get in, you'll be in the same state as Summer. And the good news is, it is a very small state. I know, I know. It's like one of the best art schools in the country. And as much as I love the face-to-face -face college rejection. I think I should just cut my losses on this one. Cohen. Yeah? Confidence, remember? Right. Good. All right, we're going to RISD. Seth is going to Brown and he's dating Anna? I know. Is your brain exploding? A little. How did he explain himself? He didn't. Okay, well, he tried to, but you know how I get, Coop. The rage makes it hard to talk, let alone listen. Well, I mean, don't assume anything until you hear what he has to say. You don't know for sure they're dating. <laughs> so, how was Berkeley? Was it amazing? Yeah, I mean, it could be. If I was ready for it. I just don't know that I am. Well, I believe in you, Coop. I'll see you in eight short hours, okay? Okay, bye. I am beyond happy for you right now. I'm like a Christmas morning, won the lottery level happy well, for you. Well, the RISD guy only said he was impressed. Mm -hmm. He said very impressed. And in scenarios like these, varies are important. Well, if I get in, it's all because of you. It's your comic book. And your plane's about to leave. Well, thank you, mm -hmm. really. <laughs> All right. Okay. See you soon. Call me. We'll do.